I finally had it back! Jack... It did look better in black. Thank you. 
Jason? I don't think insurance is gonna cover this one. Oh, Reese, you absolute dick. Look what you done. Mm -hmm. I built this place. My own two hands and a couple of hundred expendable workers. No trouble. So, thanks for that. Asshole. How does it feel, Jack, to lose again? You know, if I'm honest, kid, feels pretty shitty. I'm proud of you, kid. You didn't stop it in to kill me. This is the part where you give me the we're not so different you and I speech again. <laughs> oh, God, hell no. You're way better at killing little people than I am. How many people do you think were out in Helios, huh? How many of your co-workers did you just eject into space to get rid of me, huh? What makes you think you're the good guy in this scenario, huh? I guess I'll have to live with that. I'll spare you the amount of times I've told myself exactly the same thing. Everyone thinks they're the hero of their own story. You know, I should have seen this coming. Ever since I came to this nacho-flavored shithole of the planet, I've been betrayed by everybody I gave a rat's ass about. My boss, my girlfriend, hell, my goddamn daughter. Maybe I deserved it. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? And the ones you love lay the roadside. That your daughter betrayed you? Well, she didn't have a choice. Well, she killed her mom. She couldn't control her powers. Kept her hidden for years. Second time we found out about her, bolted. A bunch of vault hunters helped her betray me, and she killed herself. Just found out. Found out. Again. It was on the Kilios database. <sighs> Could have done without that part. Take a good look around here, Reese. This is what success looks like. You'll yeah, we'll see. After a while, you start to measure it by the size of the pile of destruction around you. You gotta break it down to build it back up. This was your first step in that. It's the only way. You'll see. And there's so much to break down before you can build again. No. No, no, no. This is the last time for me. I'm out. I'm not gonna fall on your... <coughs> <laughs> no! You think you can take me out? You little shit! Hmm? You ready to do this, Reese? Are you ready to do this? Because I am. You kill me. You kill yourself. Yeah. And that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. This. This is what commitment looks like, you little fraud. This is leadership. This is being a goddamn hero. Everything you're not. Congratulations, kiddo. You get to live another day. But what about tomorrow? Or the next day? Because I'm not going anywhere. As long as you've got those cybernetics in you. <laughs> I'll be sitting here waiting for my chance to take you out. 
We're past playing games, Reese. Oh, all I need is time. One day, when you've forgotten all about me, I'll take over your body and skin you alive with your own two hands. Perhaps while you're sleeping. Getting. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What, what are you doing? What the... Reese, what the hell are you doing? No, no, please, please, please don't do this. No, Reese, you, you don't know what it's like. back there it's not like they say <laughs> there's nothing there's absolutely nothing there don't do this goodbye Jack it's over. I'm here. Oh, thank God. Listen, Valerie used the beacon to upgrade Gordas and, and summon the vault. Gordas is trying to keep it open, but the monster that came out of it, it it's big. Really, really big. The beacon made Gordas bigger, too, but she, she can't handle something like this. I, I don't see how we're going to be able to take it down. Where are you? I, I, I don't know exactly. I, I'm still in the caravan, but I'm not sure... We gotta do something about this thing. The, the monster came with the vault, so maybe if we get rid of the vault, we can... Uh, wait, hold on. There's no one... Sasha? Hey! Hey! Sasha! Go 
Now just be still, and it'll all be over soon. I should have done this a long time ago. to take out any other way. Hmm? <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Just like that, Gordas was gone. Valerie was gone. The vault, the monster that protected it, they were all gone. All we were left with was each other. And the memories of those we lost along the way. All for nothing. was that. Eventually, we made our way back to Hollow Point, got August patched up. There isn't much more to it. Life sort of returned back to normal. Well, our normal. That was it. You destroyed Gordas, then walked away. Moved on with your life, like nothing happened. I didn't want to shoot her. I wish there was some other way. What about you? After I came to, I grabbed the rights to Atlas on Pandora from Jack's office. Figured I could use it to build something. A fresh start. At that point, it made sense to head back to the Atlas facility we left. Got it going again. Luckily, it was well stocked. Whole lot of fruit. Fixed myself up. Worked on some prototypes. Obviously, that was all after she ditched me on Helios. You chose your side. There was an announcement and everything. That was... a um, huge mistake. Turns out, yeah. But when it all came down to it and you were faced with a choice, it was clear what was important to you. Meeting you, that vault key deal, it was a disaster we didn't need in our lives. Are you serious? That is what you're pissed about? Yes! Well... I came out with a few scars, too. Go on, punk! Quit stalling! Man, put some hustle in it! I ain't got all day! I recognize that voice. Kroger? Hey, really? What is this shit? A debt needs to be repaid. What is that supposed to mean? Get down here, fool! Yo, man. You didn't tell me this dude be holed up in a bandit camp. The whole damn place was coming after me. You seem fine. I mean, I lost them, but I wouldn't stick around here too long. <laughs> Just a matter of time before they come through. I'll take my chances. Psh, whatever. Oh, look here. We got Fiona and her corporate chump. The name's Reese, thanks. Look at you, all wrapped up like birthday presents. What are you doing here, Kroger? Last I remember, you couldn't wipe your ass without someone's permission. Man, you just don't stop, do you? I'm here for my own business, thank you very much. <laughs> Look, I brought you your bandit boss. We gonna make the trade or what? Two for one. Can't beat that. Take them. 
<laughs> no, they ain't making it out of here. This is personal. Hey, no, no, stop! This is the end of the line, girl. You, you can't let him do this! So, if you got some last words, just to get them out now. Because you know what they say payback is. Come on, at least make it a fair fight. Mm -mm. I like my odds better this way. This was for Finch! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Gross. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa. Stop saying that! Don't even think about running. What the hell is he doing? This... This is weird. I don't know. Maybe he has a question. <laughs> oh, great! A firing squad! I just hit murder bingo! What do you want? All right. Laser pointers off. Laser pointers? The children of Helios try to avoid guns when it comes to conflict resolution. What? you buddy <laughs> same here man I can't believe this come on bring it in Fiona it's great to see you too Fiona we got a lot to catch up on but it's not entirely safe out here. We'll take you back to the base. Base? Oh yeah. You're not gonna believe what we've done to the place. I mean, the whole thing was nuts! After Valerie beat the ever-living shit out of me. Cassius was nice enough to take me back to his lab and fix me up. The plan was to figure out a way to get you guys from Valerie. Then you left on the rocket, and uh, Valerie opened the vault, and just all hell broke loose. I tried to find you guys, but eventually I started suspecting the worst. I didn't want to think that way, but... But after a while, it's just hard not to lose hope. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just happy you're safe. Same here, man. 
whole thing was so surreal, you know? I mean, Helios crashing. But by the time the dust settled, everyone was gone. Except for the ones that made it to the escape pods. I never expected to be leading a bunch of Hyperion refugees. I mean, they were crawling out of those things like newborns. Just bleary-eyed and scared. Their first day on Pandora. Then you put your newly acquired Pandoran survival skills to work. You joke, but it definitely helped. I mean, look, obviously, I'm no expert, but I was light years ahead of these pencil pushers. I found JR from distribution eating dirt. Liter literally, just sitting there, just shoving dirt into his mouth. Really disturbing. I mean, most of these people, they hadn't spent a waking hour doing anything but just sitting on their ass. Getting sweatier and fatter. <sighs> Which is why we decided to make our base out of what was left of Helios. Cool, right? Whoa. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty deferential. Which is really odd for a bunch of ex-Hyperion. Hello! Wow. They must really revere you. <laughs> oh, that's not for me. They're bowing to you. What, me? But this isn't for you? <laughs> You're kidding me. I wish I was. Look, they even have a shrine for them. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's a statue of Jack. Yes, very observant it was, at one point, but, uh, they went ahead and labeled it Reese. Someone tried to alter the face to look like you, but, um, most of these guys are basically shitty at everything. I am pretty uncomfortable right now. That makes two of us. Reese, you don't understand. To them, you are the great liberator. You see, you crashing Helios shed them of their corporate shackles. I guess we'll... See how this goes. <laughs>